Welcome back guys. Today we're going to build this NFT system. So essentially all it is, film of water carrying nutrient um, coating the bottom of these trough being pumped in and it covers the root of the plants, you know, and gets them um, growing, I suppose. <laughs> uh, system is great for lettuce and uh, leafy greens uh, that's what uh, a lot of professional uh, uh, you know uh, industrial scale uh, greenhouse use to produce lettuce so um, yeah well let's see if we can make ours all right stay tuned <laughs> guys we're back in the workshop today um, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna build a uh, NFT hydroponic system which uh, I want to use to grow my lettuce this well leafy greens of any kind really I want to do that this summer and I'd like to produce enough that uh, I don't have to buy lettuce this summer so the way I'm gonna make this work here I'm gonna use these uh, rock wool cube one and a half cube one and a half inch, right? So there's 49 in one sheet. I'm gonna use this to germinate the seeds. So plant the seeds in there, do what I have to do there. When they get to a certain level, cause what I'm trying to do is use like uh, 35 to 40 days maturity leaves, right? Uh, leafy greens. So the calculation of what I need to get them out of here and into a production environment is based on basically that seven by seven matrix. Here. So I'm gonna be producing 49 seedling, but I don't think I'm gonna do the whole thing. I think I'm gonna do half, which is kind of um, just the way this kind of sets up afterwards. Um, so I'm using this three by three, uh, two by three uh, gutter, uh, PVC gutter um, downspout. Uh, they come in 10 foot length. Uh, I know that I have to keep eight inch between my lettuce for growing. Okay, so uh, so there's going to be a couple of station here that this is going to have to go through in order to get in here. So essentially, the seed seedling part for about a week, then they're going to go into another tray to get a little bit more mature for another week. Then they're going to get transplanted into this uh, smaller spacing, three inch here. Um, you know, I'm going to separate all the cubes, drop them in, the, in this. Uh, what we're going to do, and you'll see that in a second, we're going to use this drill hole in our gutter, all right? And um, we're going to drop the cube. It's going to start producing, you know, like a little plant about this big. Then they're going to grow, go into this, these four production ones. So instead of having the three inch, now I have to do eight. Um, and at this point, having four to one to two station of this should be able, because I have uh, 14 holes in my 10 foot uh, sections here. So that gives me 54 if, I, if my math is right. 54 kind of maturing hole. And uh, this one I'm gonna have more than I need at three inch, uh, uh, three inch apart. So, um, Let's start drilling all and you'll see a little bit more what that uh, what that looks like. All right? Everything's drilled, all right, so uh, I don't know if you noticed, but I offsetted the two, two of the growing channels here because, you know, I wanted to maximize a little bit of the uh, uh, density here. So uh, if you look, they're still eight inch apart, but they're four inch offsetted. So that way I can put plants, you know, and add a little bit more production per square feet, you know, we'll see. 
that's that's a good plan anyway we'll see how that goes all right so the goal here uh, is to have some kind of uh, flexibility with the system you know I can grow all sorts of things in there uh, the rock wool will go directly into the trough uh, they're gonna be um, uh, just on the bottom and the, the film of uh, nutrients will just go over them I'll tell you more and explain more when the system's all set up that will you'll understand more than me just pointing all right so but one of the thing uh, that I wanted uh, you know I wanted to use these little pots if I could you know so that that's why I drilled the hole the way they are so that way I can drop the oasis or uh, rock wool uh, uh, cube directly into the throat let it do its thing or I can also use those little grow pots, which, you know, I can grow all sorts of things with those, you know, uh, herbs or whatever. You know, it's awesome as well. So that's why I did uh, choose this diameter hole. It's a two inch pot, so it goes right in and, and that that's why. So the way we're going to make this work, I'm going to use a regular gutter. I've seen people use regular gutter to actually do these things, but they have to jerry rig some kind of thing to, on top of the uh on top of the gutter to uh, prevent algae growth because that's the big thing with those uh, those system the algae uh, if if they're uh, they have direct sunlight they can actually grow in there and and steal uh, the nutrient and and be uh, and be detrimental to the whole system so by having these gutter downspout my um you know the why i choose them is because i have a cover already built in i don't have to think about that also, what I like about them is that they're all ribbed. You know, those, uh, I don't know if you can see here, there's a ribbing going on that, that you know, all downspouts, uh, you know, if, if you've seen a gutter or two in your life, you know that they're, that's how they're made. But uh, what that allows me to do is have a little channel that, that makes the water just flow by anything, you know, and not have kind of just a, uh, you know, uh, regular, like um, uh, flat base that if for any, any reason the, the, the channel is upset a little bit you know the water could just flow you know one side or the other with those little ribbing it's just gonna take the channel and just go down the whole rib and and we'll be in good shape all right so this is how i'm intending to set it up there's going to be a little bit more room so my goal is to have that set up in like a 24 inch shelf in the greenhouse we'll we'll see that in a second here at the end of this i'm gonna have a a gutter regular gutter because the water is going to come from one side it's going to flow down and then get collected by this gutter and go back into the pump uh, ba basin uh, where the nutrient are kept and, and water and all that um, and that's the uh, that's the setup I'm going to do with these um, yeah let's install it and see how it works so this is the greenhouse so as you see lean-in greenhouse it's uh, double layered uh, you know with a blower which you may hear in the background here I hope you don't but you may so the goal is to put the NFT system right here okay and uh, what and when I say this and this the greenhouse is 20 feet long so what I want to do is have a 16 inch because you know when I said inside 24 change of plans already is that it extends way too far in there because the tomato are going to be here and they're monsters so what I'm going to do is install brackets so that I can put just a um, just a standard basically and just let the trough themselves kind of provide the structure all right let's do that Hey guys so yeah this is the setup I'm thinking about putting together so this is going to be the tote 
that's going to be uh, housing the pump and uh, and obviously all the liquid with nutrients and what i'm trying to do here is going to be to take these things which are going to drip down into the tote and be pumped back up you know over to the sides so let's go into the workshop and see what we can do to make that happen all right after trial and error here this is what i came up with so what i've been doing here is putting a uh well so what, what is it we're trying to achieve let's start there i want to place this gutter system right right under the end of each of the trough the trough that we just looked at in order to do that i had to fix this unit on something that will make it at the right height to collect the liquid and send it back down the big uh, four inch pipe over there is going to be what is going to collect from the end of the spout right here and into the tote there yeah so i think that's a good plan i mean it's sturdy what i did is i used the the way the whole thing was made so right there you see it's kind of uh, in, not embedded but i used the structure of the actual top here to secure it so that it doesn't move all right uh well it doesn't move it can freely be uh lifted out of its place if you wish but uh it's going to be secure it won't move you know what uh just by uh hitting it or something so now what we're going to do is take this assembly here which is just like your regular assembly you'd put on a house here just much smaller secure it over here and i'm not sure where yet so i'm gonna have to move that into the greenhouse set it all up and see where the trough and and where we can secure this all right let's do that all right here we go so uh yeah this is turning out to be a pretty good uh, system here so the each of the trough will be dripping inside this gutter and through the hole here will actually drip down into a three inch hole that i'm going to cut here and and do uh and do the downspout there so yeah the reason i did it this way because i mean obviously we could have done it many different way it could have been a you know just a closed end with uh uh, kind of a hole at the bottom to to drip down and stuff it's because i want to be able to take let's say one section right so you see how it goes there i can take the whole section move it you know and push the other one in its place so that i can either harvest things or um, do some maintenance on it and and, and all of that so i wanted each of those sections to be completely independent so that i can move them um, you know and, and 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 change them you know from you know this one is the the oldest um let's say this one is at 30 days so it's going to have the taller plant so maybe i want to move it closer to the middle yes yeah, so i wanted to be able to move them so i can you know take one put it on the table and, and work on it either it's putting the seedlings in or or reordering you know let's say the closest one to me is now the oldest one uh, because of the new because I just harvested let's say this one I can just flip them and I have no problem with the setup of my dripping system so all I have to make sure I do is that these things drip into the area you know and also what that allows me to do is that if I have to change something I can just pull the whole assembly out right and then I can maintain either the pump change uh, nutrients whatever you know so i like the modularity that this provides me and the flexibility to add more trough let's say if i needed to or uh, you know because all i would have to do is just change how long this little collection area is and then i can move the system to a different uh, location and have more area all right so let's finish kind of hooking up uh this uh this thing here i'm gonna put the 
uh, down spigot and the uh, try to cup the pump here and show you what it's going to look like. All right. Good morning, guys. So today I'm going to show you how I put it all together and uh, we'll install it and see how it runs. All right. Starting with this three inch uh, uh, thin wall um, uh, drain pipe, all right. I put a three inch, uh, I don't know, piece of three inch uh, schedule 40 pipe, you know, that I just cut so that it would hold, all right. So pump goes in. Remember this, we drilled the hole. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm not going to drill another hole for this thing. I'm just going to put everything through one hole and you'll see it just works just fine. All right. So here we go, pumps in. I'll show you how we hook that up in a minute. Now we're going to do this. So why would I do another hole? And now this through here. Let's go put it in. All right, so here it is installed. Okay. So, what I like about the system is that I can pull this whole unit right out of there and everything's going to work just fine. All right. So, um, you know, to clean it, to um, change the solution or anything. All right. What I did is that, you know, that uh, plastic pipe coming out, I placed this thing based on whatever length I had here. So I didn't have to really calculate anything, just, you know, eyeball it, it's about here. Then I put the length going all the way to my, uh, the end of the trough there. Same on the other side. And what I did, and that's probably something I need to show you here. What I need, what I did to secure them, you see, they're a little quarter inch adapter that I threaded into into this tube here so essentially i took a 1 8 npt by quarter inch barb all right that's what they are hardware store not very expensive uh, and i threaded the um like i said the inside so you drill a hole and drill it until you get to the thread side and then thread it all out it's plastic so it's super easy you can do it with your finger all right this little plastic tubing to feed and that's what the system does all right guys this is my uh, NFT system completed uh, working uh, we're gonna put some uh, seedling in there in a second here uh, I'll have a couple of a uh, little video of it soon if you like the idea you know let me know give me a like and uh, we'll see you next week all right thanks bye